Hey guys, what's going on? My name is Tom Spark. Welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be talking about the best free VPN services that do not collect and sell your data. Now guys, before we talk about those free VPN services, I do kind of want to caution you that with these services, there are going to be some restrictions, whether that be server locations, speeds, um, as well as bandwidth caps, which means you won't be able to use them after maybe a couple hours or maybe even a couple minutes, depending on what you're doing with that said VPN service. VPNs at the end of the day are worthwhile to use because the best ones don't really impact your speeds. You can download a lot of stuff without any restrictions and there's lots of servers to choose. So when you're choosing a VPN, you're really sacrificing all these different things. And I just kind of want to make that clear before starting this video. This video is not going to be sponsored by any of the VPNs um, here in this video. I'll be putting links in the description down below for them. Some may be affiliate links if you decide to upgrade to the paid plan, if that's something you're into. However, if you do want to help support this video, you like the channel, you like privacy news and different kind of discussion of privacy tools, you might want to check out some of my favorite products lately. Um, one of those is going to be Incogni. This is a product that removes your information from data brokers. It pretty much helps you not get doxxed by removing your address, your phone number, your real life name from various websites around the world that pretty much host that information for people to just find for free. Pretty crazy, right? This is a service that goes to these websites, automatically tells them to remove it so you don't have to do all the work yourself to save you time. This is pretty much the cheapest one I've found out of all the other data brokers. It's around $70 a year compared to like $100 to $200 a year from other services. It also as a family and friends plan not only that guys but if you're looking for a new encrypted email provider my favorite one lately is actually start mail start mail is one of the cheapest ones i've found it has unlimited aliases it's very easy to import emails and stuff like that it works for pretty much all the default mail applications on your phone and it's just very user friendly and there's also a free seven day trial to start out so i'll be putting a link for incogni and start mail down in the description down below but without further ado guys let's get into the discussion of the best free vpns first up is probably going to be something like proton proton vpn is a very popular vpn provider they have a free plan now what are the restrictions with a free plan well obviously they have a paid plan and these kind of things without restrictions um but you can find sign up for free here um it really does not want it kind of um it wants you to pay of course as 245 servers in six countries so you really only have six countries to choose from you have unlimited volume and bandwidth which is good but it does not say you will not have speed restrictions so like i said you do get speed restrictions with this um, i don't think it includes streaming compatibility which means you can't unblock websites um, but there are no ads so this is pretty good for what it is um, like i said a, a link in the description down below if you do want to upgrade to the paid model it is one of the more pricier vpn options but they do have some interesting bundles and honestly it's not too badly priced it used to be more expensive than it is now um, you could get around $60 a year, which isn't half bad. Definitely a solid VPN though, top tier on my channel. Um, next up, we can talk about Hide.me. This one isn't quite as popular as Proton VPN. However, that said, it still has a pretty good free plan and it's a top tier VPN here on my channel. I don't get quite as good as speeds with Hide.me as Proton on the paid version, but if you're talking about free versions, it's probably not as um, important. The thing with Hide.me that is nice, it has unlimited data. Um, it does have restricted speeds like Proton. It has eight locations, which is actually an improvement over Proton six locations, um, one connection and no locks. So I would actually say Hide.me probably has a more generous free plan if that's something you're into. I'm comparing it between Proton. It does look kind of superior. Um, I just kind of listed it arbitrarily second as a point of metric of comparison, but it actually seems to be more better. Now, unlike um, both Proton and Hide.me, um, there is a VPN called Windscribe. Um, now, I personally am not a huge fan of the community or the people that run this company, but that said, not mentioning in this video would be a little bit disingenuous. That said, Windscribe does offer a pretty good free plan. However, it is limited by data. You can expand it up to two gigabytes if you provide an email um, so they could blast you annoying newsletters if that's what you want. Um, take up 10 gigabytes of free data. So unlike Proton and Hide.me, it is gonna have a data limit. Um, that said, I don't think they limit the speed as much as it says here, no throttling. Um, they do have servers in 11 countries, so at least there's that. Um, so it's kind of a trade-off if you want a little bit better speed, but only 10 gigabytes data. I honestly think the Proton and Hide.me plans are just since they provide more data, even if it's slower speed, it's probably better. One scribes 10 gigabytes really just isn't that much, especially for an entire month. Um, so I don't think it's quite as usable. Um, 
So that's something to kind of think about. Also, apparently I haven't been a huge fan of Windscribe's kind of like PR reputation. Uh, just a couple months ago, they had this issue where this hacker posted a pretty secure, uh, pretty severe vulnerability on Twitter. Um, and they he kind of got into an argument with the CEO of Windscribe. So that's definitely kind of concerning. He said that um, Windscribe's code was very amateurish and very sloppy. But again, if it, you want to use Windscribe because it's a little bit faster, maybe depending on you know your specific use case, that's something to think about at least. Now there are a couple other options out there. You might have seen some other videos on um, YouTube, like from people like TechLore who don't really know much about VPNs, and now kind of is retired and works for a Monero company or whatever. Um, there's a VPN called Rise Up VPN. Now he highlighted this one in his video, but specifically I've tried it and it barely even works. Um, as you can tell from the website, this is a very amateurish project. I think it's run just from some university or something like that. Um, clearly it hasn't seen much love or attention. Doesn't really even seem to work. Um, but um, yeah, so I just thought I should mention this as something maybe that's not really even worth using. There's also a couple other VPNs out there like Hotspot Shield that offer a free service, but they have ads on it. Tunnel Bear is another one, but I'm pretty sure it's like limited to even 500 megabytes or something like that. It's very small and it's not that trusted of a VPN anymore. So in conclusion, guys, that's my thoughts on this one. Let me know what you think in the comments down below and I'll see you again very soon.